remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, you are looking at some yellow noodles here. Okay, this is yellow egg noodles. Uh, usually when you buy, it comes in a package and uh, you can actually easily find it if you are in Malaysia or Singapore, I'm sure, from any local supermarket. And usually it will be coated with a layer of um, uh, oil. Um, some will actually rinse it for a while and uh, usually I don't. Yeah, it's really up to you. It's okay. Now, I'm going to cook um, uh, a wet version of uh, chow mein of uh, fried noodles and also a darker version yeah my version is usually the original yellowish color so today i'm going to make um, a darker version of a uh, wet version of this particular fried noodles so i have approximately 300 uh, grams of fried noodles and uh, uh, yellow noodles here and then i have uh, about 50 grams of uh, sliced meat yeah sliced pork i'm using sliced pork now and we can actually uh, marinate this a little bit, yeah, later. And few prawns, okay. Devein, yeah, devein. But I keep the shelf on because I want the flavor from the shelf. And then we have some chopped garlic. This is uh, my homemade uh, onion oil. If you want to know how to make onion oil at home, just go and search for my video, all right? And then, uh, Today, I'm going to make use the uh, ketchup manis. Usually, most of the time, I'm actually using the normal uh, dark soya sauce, which is not sweet. This is actually the sweetened uh, dark soya sauce from Indonesia, yeah? About three to four big tablespoons. And then we will need a bit of uh, light soya sauce, yeah? Maybe about one to two tablespoons. And this will be the broth, I'm using a chicken broth here to really flavor the whole dish. And we will need a bit of oyster sauce and also saucing wine. If you don't take wine, just omit the wine part. You don't have to uh, find any replacement at all. And just now, when I opened my fridge, I found my green onion is almost uh, uh, get going spoiled. So I actually cut out the white portion of it. The green portion already spoiled. So I'm actually using some of the uh, white portion of it here and then some uh, Chinese cabbage yeah you can use any kind of any kind of veggie that you like so first thing first let's just uh, give the uh, meat a little bit of uh, marinade I can put in a bit of uh, oyster sauce a little bit of Light soya sauce. A bit of saucing wine. And I'm going to put in some uh, cornstarch. Okay, actually, actually all this step is really optional. If you want to skip, just skip. You don't have to remarinate your, your meat even. Yeah? This is just to make your meat uh, already flavored right before even you started cooking, yeah? Well, this is optional. Chinese always like to pre-marinate the meat before cooking so that the, the flavor will actually uh, go deeper, yeah? Into the meat itself. Right, see? Nicely marinated. All the uh, sauce has been absorbed nicely into the meat. This is actually one way of making your meat more tender because all the sauce is, is actually inside. All right, so let's start stir fry. Okay, I'm going to heat up the wok. Notice I never put any oil here because I want to dry roast my uh, noodle to give it a little bit of char smell, okay? Now be very careful. I mean char, I don't mean burn. And uh, of course, Remember just uh, I told you the uh, yellow noodle itself is already coated with one, um, one thin layer of oil inside, yeah? So I, want, I just want to char my uh, egg noodle a little bit before I continue cooking them. Okay, basically what you want to do is using a high head to uh, char them up. 
this will help to actually bring out the flavor but this is optional if you don't want to do this don't have to okay done very fast just do it a little a minute or two enough okay under high heat okay then we continue with the okay i'm going to put in my onion oil and we're going to saute our garlic there are some fried onion already inside so you cannot leave it for long it will actually burn yeah your onion will actually burn so immediately put in your garlic together so your onion won't get burned now i actually wanted to uh, get some flavor out of my prawn so i'm going to add in my prawn right now Many people actually say, hey, Papa, you sometimes uh, you add your prawn too fast, lah. the prawn will be overcooked. But seriously, this is home cooking. It doesn't really matter if it's overcooked. Um, now, why is it? I want to put in my prawn now because I want the oil to be flavored uh, by uh, my uh, the prawn shell. The prawn shell, when in contact with a direct heat, it will really give you some very flavorful, uh, nice flavor. Okay, here I'm going to put in the uh, green onion as well. This is, I'm trying to build up the flavor for this particular uh, broth later. Okay, it's going to be a broth before I put in my uh, noodle. Okay, now if you seriously very mind, you don't want to overcook your prawn, now is the time where you can actually remove the prawn if you want to. Off the fire first. Just now, I I know already my uh, the my prawn shell has already uh, flavored the oil. So I'm going to remove my prawn and put back the prawn towards the end of later. Okay. Okay. The meat. Continue stir frying. Probably need a little bit more oil. I always do uh, dried noodles. Yeah, today I'm going to do a little bit uh, more gravy. Something a bit different. Don't keep eating the same dish every day. Yeah, that's the purpose of the whole purpose of Appa's video is to give you all cooking ideas yeah this is why appa has made over 500 videos of, for the past two years and appa will upload four videos every week all right now this is now nicely flavored i'm going to put in my stock a lot of stock because i want this to be a rather soupy dish okay this is three kicap manis. You can, if you don't have kicap manis at home, then you can use the normal dark, so, uh, normal dark soya sauce and put some uh, sugar together, all right? Always be flexible on the ingredient you're using. Don't be too rigid when it comes to home cooking. About one or two tablespoons of uh, light soya sauce here. A tablespoon of uh, oyster sauce. Half cup of uh, saucing wine, optional. You don't take wine, you don't put this, okay? Mmm, very flavorful. If you find it not dark enough, actually I run off my ketchup manis, so I'm going to add in more uh, normal dark soya sauce. Oui. Oh, this one, yeah. I want this, this to be darker. About two, three tablespoons. This is the normal dark soya sauce. This is not so, uh, sweetened. 
I added in just for the camera's darker color, all right? Now it's become much darker immediately. Now we can actually put in the veggie. Okay. We want to properly um, try to properly season this the broth nicely before you add in the noodle. Actually, that will become that will make the whole dish easier and make the seasoning more even. Okay, let's try to uh, bring this to a boil. Then we we will come back shortly. All right. Okay, very fast. The broth is now boiling. We can actually pull in our noodles. Okay which is already a bit of a uh, char a little bit just now bring your noodles uh, to the bottom so that you can nicely uh, soak out the broth Okay, and I'm going to add in my prawn as well. If you have pork lard, you can also put in your pork lard. I don't have pork lard at home. Okay, so I'm going to bring this to a boil and let it boil for... Uh... Ooh, it is almost boiling. Hmm. Very fast. So I'm going to let this boil for another about two minutes, two to three minutes, then it is basically done. Just do some final seasoning uh, towards the end. Let me see, would it be too salty or not? Mm, nice, very sweet, little bit of savoriness. I will just do a bit of uh, salt and pepper and sugar towards the end. Then it's done. No eggs tonight. But this is going to turns out. This is going to turn out very nice. Let this simmer for uh, about uh, about a minute or two under high heat. Yeah. So we will come back shortly and let's finish it. Okay, my noodles has been simmering under high heat for the past one minute plus. Ooh, nice! This is going to taste so good. Alright, just let's do some final seasoning before I serve. Um, let's give it a little bit of salt. A little bit of sugar and I'm going to give it a few dashes of white pepper all right I'm gonna off the fire okay I just off the fire it's basically done let's give it a few final stir to make sure the salt and sugar and the white pepper is nicely dissolved Ooh, and I still have some sambal blachan I made few days ago in my fridge. I'm going to eat it together with my sambal blachan. Okay, done. So I'm going to serve this onto uh, a plate. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. Let me take a picture. <laughs> okay, me into a plate. All right, and of course, not forgetting the gravy. Ooh, this one cannot take gravy. 
Let's have some of the gravy, nice gravy. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so here's my uh, fried noodles, uh, wet, wet fried noodles. Let me uh, put in some uh, fried onion on top. All right, so I hope you like this particular video. So this is sometimes what we call uh, mi goreng basa. All right, the uh, wet fried noodle. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page, you click like and follow button. Follow Apa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.